In this recording, we're going to talk about import tariff. We're going to talk about export subsidy and the effect or implications of terms of trade. That is how import tariff is going to affect terms of trade, how export subsidy is going to affect terms of trade. That is what we're going to do. But before than that, I just want to tell you, there is something which is called an internal price. Internal price is what? The price at which goods are traded within the country. That is what internal price is. Uh, then external price. The price at which goods are traded in the international market. That is what? External prices. So if you impose import tariff or export subsidy, this is going to sort of uh, create a distortion right, between the internal price and the external price. So we have talked about what is an internal price. Right. What is an external price? Mm -hmm. And uh, the import tariffs and the export tariffs are going to create a distortion that is, is going to create a gap between the internal price and the external price. Uh, so import tariff. import tariff and export subsidy will create a gap between internal price and external price. Right. So when a country imposes an import tariff, what it is doing, it is making imports expensive. Right. So it is trying to discourage imports in some way. Right. Disincentivize importers, because if you import, you will have to pay the higher price. <laughs> it's like a tax which is levied on imports. So it is going to raise the price of the foreign goods in home country. When the country imposes export, uh, when, when sorry, when country uh, gives export subsidy, that is like an incentive to producers uh, to produce that good. You have to incentivize the producers to produce that good, right? So the ex they are going to make the exported goods expensive in home country. Uh, because then only the domestic people will not be able to buy a lot of these goods in the home country. And the foreign people will be able to buy. Are you, are you getting what I'm trying to say? So export subsidy is when, when it is going to increase the price of exported commodity. It is produced in my country, but it is produced for foreign, let's say. So if it if at all it will be sold, it will be sold at a very high price in my country, so that the demand is going to be lesser. And uh, international people, foreign people will be buying more of these exported goods because that is an idea of giving export subsidy. Uh, so if the country is large <clears throat> in trade, I mean it's a, it's a, it's a large country. So both import tariffs and export subsidies are going to have an effect on the relative supply and the relative demand, right? It will be affecting both the relative supply curve and the relative demand curve. How, and it is going to affect the terms of trade. How? Let's see. So there's an imports, a import tariff which is being imposed by the home country. There are two goods, food and cloth. There are two countries, home and foreign. Home countries importing food and home countries exporting cloth, right? Okay. And when home country is going to impose import tariff on the food, then the relative price of food is going to increase. I mean, of course, the price of food is going to increase relative to the price of cloth, right? So you can write like this, the price of cloth, price of food 
is going to increase relative to price of cloth or price of cloth is going to fall relative to price of food. This is right. Uh, so you guys can write price of cloth. Falls relative to price of food. Why? Because home country has imposed an import tariff on food and, and hence the price of food has increased. Fair enough. Okay. So there are two sides in the economy, producing side and the consuming side. Producers in the economy, they are receiving less price of cloth, right? So they will be less interested in producing cloth. So relative supply of cloth is going to fall. It will shift upwards, right? Uh, so they will be switching towards the production of food whose price has increased. Hmm? Relative supply of cloth is going to fall because the price of cloth has reduced. But at the same time, because the price of cloth has reduced relative to the price of food, domestic consumers would want to buy more of cloth relative to food because cloth is becoming cheaper as, as compared to food. So the relative demand for cloth is going to increase. Relative demand for cloth is going to increase. Right? So what will happen? That the terms for trade, how is that going to be affected? So PC by PF, is going to increase. PC by PF is going to increase. No? Uh, PC by PF is going to increase. And when you say PC by PF is increasing, basically what you are saying is that the home's terms of trade are increasing. Why? How do you define terms of trade? Price of exports upon Price of imports. So when PC by PF is increasing, home terms of trade are increasing. This is the case for import tariff, right? Now let us talk about export subsidy. So home country is exporting cloth and it is producing. Uh, sorry, it is imposing an export subsidy or imposing or it is giving an export subsidy so that more of cloth could be produced. So what will happen? The price of cloth is going to increase. So price of cloth is going to increase relative to the price of food. What will the domestic suppliers think? Domestic suppliers will think, wow, the price of cloth has increased. We should be rather producing more cloth. They will be switching to the cloth production rather than the food production. So what happens is that the relative supply of cloth is going to increase. <clears throat> right. Relative supply of cloth is going to increase. What are domestic consumers going to think? Oh, the price of cloth has increased. Relative to food, cloth has become expensive. We will be rather switching towards food consumption. So the demand for relative demand for food is going to fall. Relative demand for food is going to fall. And when it does, <clears throat> so PC by PF is also going to fall. PC by PF is also going to fall. So what happens? So when you say PC by PF is falling, PC by PF is nothing but the terms for trade for the home country. 
Why I'm saying terms of trade? I'm again and again repeating this stuff. Price of exports upon price of imports. Cloth is the, cloth is the exported commodity for home country and food is the import for the home country. So when price of cloth upon price of food is falling, that means price of exports upon price of food is falling. That means home terms of trade are declining. In the next recording, we will talk about what is the implication of the terms of trade effects. Who is going to gain? Who is going to lose? Right. So this is what we are going to do in the next recording. Right. Shalom. Thank you, Vita.